everybody, welcome to Miami Life and Fitness. In today's video, we're talking about the butt. The butt is today's topic. Do you have a big butt, but it's all fat and fluffy and it's not strong and it's not round and hard? Or do you just have no butt and you're trying to build your booty? Today's the booty video. Stay tuned. All right, guys, and don't forget, uh, go to Private MD Labs if you need to check your hormones, if you need to check your labs, if you need to check your blood work. If you are on a cycle or if you are over 30, you really need to be checking your hormones. And if you do need to get your hormones restored, because I'm not a doctor and I'm not an endocrinologist, but if you are starting to feel lazy and sluggish and no sex drive and no feeling of getting up in the morning and you're starting to get depressed, then you may have symptoms of low T. And in that case, I suggest that you get a script from Private MD Labs and get your blood work and your hormone done. It's easy as that. Just a suggestion. All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about the butt. So this is going to be a very important topic for both ladies and men. So don't forget to hit the, hit the like button now, subscribe, hit that pretty picture on the bottom right-hand screen, and please leave a comment because it does help the algorithm. A lot of people just watch the video and don't leave comments. Just leave a comment, even if it's a bicep, even if it's a smiley face, even if it's a thumbs up. Just leave a comment, leave an emoji. These people are having a great time on the jet ski. I'm going to go jump on their jet ski. I'll be right back. Okay, um, anyways, uh, so today's gonna be the butt issue. So, getting right into this video, so a lot of women talk to me about the butt, a lot of women have are self-conscious about their butt or a lot of people are just focused on the butt how to build the butt how to get it bigger how to get it nice round hard and lean so when you smack it it doesn't jiggle and move around like gelatin so we're gonna be talking about the most effective way to build your butt and it's not with bands and it's not with TRX and it's not with you know uh, I don't know what people do walking all day or doing little step ups on the Reebok who still uses that Reebok jumper remember those what is that so the thing is the key to build your butt is obviously you have to either reduce the fat if your ass is full of fat or you have to grow the fibers that are in there remember if you don't use it you lose it if I don't grow my biceps in two years my biceps are gonna be gone if you sit on your ass all day and you don't use your ass and you don't work on your ass to strengthen it you're gonna lose your ass that's the bottom line okay um, so the best thing to do for your ass is do real moves move some weight people you got to move some weight you got to get under the machines and use the proper equipment that is going to help build your butt what I mean by build your butt is to build the muscle the gluteus maximus the, the 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 butt muscle okay in order to do that we have to grow the fibers and the only way that the fibers grow is by stimulating the fibers and tearing the fibers that are inside and then when they re repair is when they grow it's also the way to move the fat out of the way because as the muscle grows it will start to move the fat out of the way so there are some women that don't have much of an ass and I was one of those people that didn't have much of an ass until now I've built my butt in the gym it took me over two years to build my butt but I built it I built it I built the butt that I have now because I really didn't have a butt I had a tiny little curvature but I really didn't have the nice roundness that I do now and it's built in the gym how did I do this I built it by using proper equipment and using heavy weight that actually stimulated the fibers tearing the fibers and stimulating the muscle growth doing the regular squat and I don't free squat I don't really not that you can't use it i'm not saying that i'm against it but for me it's more of it's 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 one step closer for injury i think when you use a smith machine or the hack or the pendulum or your front squat you're more protected so you have less room for injury you're at less risk of injury whether you're if you're using a free bar whether you're doing a deadlift or a or a um, or a squat I think you have more risk of injury so for me I like to do a squat on the Smith do a squat on the hack the two variations of the front squat and I also like to do the pendulum squat which is an amazing machine if you have this I call it the spaceship and it's a really great uh, machine for squats once you do one one or two of these variations of squats every day you do your legs then you can also do your leg press and then you can either do lunges or do your leg press and then you can do a deadlift traditional preferably 
these are the exercises that are working your entire leg all of your quad all of your upper thigh as well as your hamstrings your inner thigh and your glute area this is a they're important compound moves and the, these are the moves that are going to help you get rid of the fat and build your butt and for those that don't have much of a butt it's what's going to help you build your butt for those of you that have a fluffy ass butt fluffy butt fluffy ass it's going to help you tear the fat and push it out of the way as the muscle grows there's only room for one muscle or fat what do you have room for in your butt is your is you have do you have room for fat or do you have room for muscle only one is going to be the boss and only one is going to take up that space so in order to have the muscle showcase you got to get rid of the fat if you don't build the muscle and if you don't use proper weight you don't lift heavy you're going to be showcasing fat so which one would you rather showcase just saying all right ladies so just keep in mind the butt is made in the gym it's not made with bands it's not made with donkey kicks and it's not made sitting at home doing those stupid little what do you call them fire hydrants and sticking your leg to the side listen the jane fonda days are over jane fonda days are over you have to get in the gym and move some effing weight because if you don't you can cancel your membership and you can stay your ass home on the sofa watching netflix with your popcorn or your potato chips or what other other fatty crap you're eating so that's the end of the video like share subscribe and just think about which one would you rather showcase your fat or your muscle it's up to you when you take off your clothes how are you gonna feel sexy but if you want to be sexier then email me if you want to get to know more about my coaching plans then hit the word more and all of my information will pop up magically as well as training programs you can also email me at miamilifeandfitness at gmail.com or check out my website at www.miamilifeandfitness.com instagram at Miami Life Fitness. And please don't forget to comment because it does help the algorithm. Stop being selfish. Move the little finger. Because I know you text people all day and know you're on social media all day. So take 2.5 seconds and share my video. And while you're at it, watch one of these too. Sarabi's channel, The Boxer Dog Sarabi.